Welcome to the new test drive for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. This test drive is targeted for new users wanting to get a better feel for 3D design with Synchronous Technology. To begin this test drive, you want to make sure you open the part file called stopamm.par. Once you're in the file, the orientation is already set up. We're ready to begin our design. We're going to start by creating a sketch. So we're going to go up to the Rectangle by Center command. There's a pull-out menu just to the right, and you'll want to grab the Rectangle by three points. Now it's going to add a crosshair to your cursor, and what you can do is just go over and just let the crosshair touch the origin of the, of the uh, coordinate system, and then just pull off to the left a little bit, and then make your first mouse, left mouse button click to begin the line. And what you want to do is look up at the ribbon bar here, and you'll notice uh, as you keep this in line, you come out about 65 millimeters. It doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere around 65 millimeters. Then for the height, we want to pull that down around 45. So when you get close to 45, just click, and it'll create uh, that rectangle command. Now you'll notice once the rectangle is complete, it's a closed profile and it creates what looks like a blue area inside that closed profile. We call this area a region. And with regions we can generate or create other uh, features in Solid Edge without actually having to go to the actual extrude or revolve commands to do so. If you read in 2D geometry into Solid Edge and it has closed profiles in it, it will automatically generate these regions for you. By clicking on that region with your left mouse button, it's going to automatically identify or turn on what we call a grab-and-go tool. You'll also notice up at the top that you'll have a ribbon bar. So when you select a region, depending on what you're doing, it's going to give you some options. Now on the, on the left side of the ribbon bar, we have some actions. Do we want to create an extrude or a revolve? And on the right side of the ribbon bar, we actually have different options for those actions. So in this case we want to turn on the symmetric offset. Then we're going to come down and just grab that grab and go tool and as we drag that cursor out you'll notice that it's in a symmetric mode and what we want to do is we want to get around 20 millimeters. But since we're doing grab and go tools it's also important to understand that you can key in specific values. For example I want to key in 20 and then I'm going to hit the tab key just to get my preview to make sure that's what I want and if I'm, uh, if I'm satisfied with that, a left mouse button click to actually create that feature. Now you'll notice right away that it adds the 20 millimeter PMI dimension. You can come up to what we call Pathfinder and turn that on or off just by unchecking it. You'll also notice under Synchronous there's a features collector and inside that collector is where all of the features that we create will be listed. Now this is no longer a linear tree or history tree Within Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology, you can sort by name or type because the features are not dependent on each other. The sketch, you might ask what happened to the sketch. Well, we take our sketches once they're used and we put them in a used sketches uh, folder. The sketch doesn't actually drive the model uh, in Synchronous Technology. If you want to make a change, you go directly to the model and, and, and make those changes directly on the model. So uh, this actually concludes the first step of this test drive. And so what you want to do is you might want to come up and save your file at this point. And then you want to make sure that the students who are following along are to this point before continuing to step two.